So I'm uh, doing a uh, run here with a rum. Um, I put a bit of effort into researching what makes rums taste like rum and um, how certain rum distilleries make their rum. And uh, for the first time I've got my doubler hooked up in here. I'm just slowly raising the temperature on the kettle um, and trying to, I'm well, just watching and trying to keep the two in sync. Uh, and just, just doing the run slowly biggest innovation I've found to date, uh, I've had trouble controlling the uh, water flow in the condenser, was this fella here, it's just a $20 hose fitting, it allows me to increase or decrease the water flow into the condenser from right here around the, around the still rather than rushing around the back of the house like a mad bugger. Um, very cool, 20 bucks makes a huge impact and a huge difference to running the thing. Well, the thumper just started thumping, which uh, means there's gas coming out of the kettle down there and through the thumper, so that's a good start. You can probably just hear it there. You can actually hear it better through the condenser outlet. that's lagging behind the kettle by about 20 or 30 degrees so I'm just bringing the kettle up slowly as I would normally and hopefully they'll play catch up um, the idea behind a thumper or a doubler they're called thumpers because they are, used to be um, hillbilly time sort of era they were made out of um, wooden kegs and uh, when the gas came, came in through the keg and bubbled out in a large quantity it would actually thump, keg would thump. So um, they're also called a doubler because they give you a double distillation um, essentially that's what it's doing. Uh, your alcohol uh, liquid here comes uh, boils off and the, the gas coming off is in a high concentration it comes through your still head down into your, your doubler or your thumper and it bubbles up and uh, recondenses and it forms a higher concentration liquid which is then uh, heats up because the gas coming through there is obviously hot um, and the gas given off there is a higher concentration than the gas given off in the kettle and that's that's pretty much the guts of it and then it just comes straight down into the condenser as it would normally if it was just, just rigged up as a, a simple pot still Start starting to take uh, ethanol off down here we've already got four shots Four shots taken off, about 300 ml of that. Got my first jar out, and it started coming out at 90%, which is way above 90% uh, alcohol by volume, which is way above what I've ever got out of the, the pot still before. Um, second jar is coming out now, and it's around 85, um, which is, is pretty good. Again, that's way above what I've ever got uh, via the pot still pot still configura configuration. Um, the kettle has just, just got enough flame under there to keep it ticking away um, and the thumper is lagging by about uh, 8, 8 to 10 degrees um, and we're just getting a constant little dribble of, uh, dribble of alcohol out of here Um, on my third jar, and that's still at uh, just under 85% by volume. Um, had a, a wee incident where the thermometer in the, uh, head of the still head started uh, leaking, which is not cool. <laughs> it's, 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 it was dripping out alcohol, and you could see a bit of gas coming out of it. Um, so I uh, recalled seeing the Popcorn Sutton and JD Raider film from from quite a while ago and um, made myself up a, a batch of uh, sort of wheat um, paste pasted it on there and uh, in the words of uh, Mr Sutton it's gone harder than a minister's pecker stop the gas, stop the leak, um, still going so uh, yeah every little bit of information you get counts on this stuff it's, it's quite interesting I'll keep an I'll keep a uh, sharp eye on it for the rest of the the process, 
uh, and I'll, I'll remedy it properly once everything's cooled down, but in the meantime that uh, saved my bacon. So here's the uh, yield from the rum run I did. Unfortunately my battery, uh, my camera cut out uh, before the end of the distillation, but here we are. We start at 90. The, again these are, um, I, I write the alcohol by volume on the cap as I seal it. That was sealed at 90, it started a little above 90. Uh, and then went to 85, 80, 78, 75, 65, and the last one is 62. I'm not sure if I will or will not use that. It has quite a good smell to it though, which is surprising. Um, and then that was uh, some back ends I took off at about 50%. And they've already gone into, into the thumper for something else I'm doing today. Uh, so all told, I mean, uh, I've got quite a good yield out of that. I don't have anywhere near as many jars as I normally take out. But with the thumper, they've all come at uh, incredibly high uh, proof or uh, by volume. Uh, compared to what I normally um, take off. As I said, this, this one started at 90, over 90 uh, initially on the um, spirit hydrometer. And down here, that's about where I normally start, around here somewhere, um, and take off at about 75, 70% by volume. And you'll see that's almost my finishing point. <laughs> I was quite happy with that. And and again, the there's very few jars so it's all quite a high percentage that I can then temper back with uh, some uh, distilled water so that's worked out quite well happy with that uh, what I've got going on in the back here is uh, some uh, oak shards uh, not not chips, I've, I've got shards which have uh, a lot of um, side grain, not so much end grain and I'm just trying out an experiment there. Um, I made a peat smoked single malt type whiskey and uh, I've got the original untainted or un <laughs> unoaked and I've got these two using slightly different um, types of oak. I don't use flavoured oak I just use straight oak that's been toasted that's not got any additives or, or alternative sort of flavours in it so uh, I'm just seeing what a lightly toasted oak versus a more heavily charred oak comes out like. Uh, that's been there for about a week or so, so it's probably give it another another week or two and give it a try. Uh, what I'm going to do today is do a run on a moonshine that's um, going to be using the column, basically the whole still, all assembled the way it was supposed to be used in the first place. And uh, I'll show you that in a bit.